such a fun piece to play. But the most important thing will be working on your left hand jumps. Okay, so there's two ways for fingerings. If your hands are quite small, in the lesson, I might let you do the 5-1-5-1. Five, one, five, one. Open up, kind of like your echo says in G major by Beethoven, right? So, five finger positions, fine, open up, play, active down, back. Okay, that's really avoid tension to just being stiff. Another good way to go will be three, one, five, one. Swing a little bit back and forth. But still keep this distance not quite open up yet, right? So it's not going to make you feel you have to stiff your finger or stretch it all the time. Center on the third. Swing a little bit. Okay, so once you work out uh, your left hand jumps, then the next thing will be your articulation. You have three notes there. So make sure you're switching between C sharp and C natural. Position, third finger position up and down and a little bit of wrist rotation on that longer phrase. Okay, now it's really quite challenging in the beginning when you put both hands together because sometimes one hand jump, one hand isn't. This one's okay, and how about that one? In this case, on the long phrase, rotation and left hand still need to keep jumping at your left hand. Make sure to pay attention to your left hand rest toward the end and also work on that fingerings. And the last three chords, 